Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together today. Uh, you know, uh, today actually I was uh, live on air until the morning uh, and actually I wasn't uh, like trying to do broadcast as much as I was trying to fix the issue of the buffering in my broadcast. But by mistake I kept it uh, public and then 500 people joined. Uh, I slept a few hours and I could not resist to come back to you. So I miss you, miss you all. And let us today see how we can understand the Quran and who is the person who can understand the Quran. Yesterday we have a caller. His name is Sheikh Zainab. And Zainab is a female name, but obviously his mom, she saw that he is a female. So she gave him that name. And he explained to us who can really understand the Quran. Listen carefully. Hey, call me back, please. The one who called, I, I lost you. The Abdul who was calling. All right, hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Who is this? Daddy Ultimate. No wrong again. Why are you are calling me? Yes, well, you don't accept hadith, you don't accept Quran, you don't accept interpretation. You are not a Muslim. Are you a Muslim? Uh, who are you to define who is Muslim or who is not? Uh, the Quran says that the one who obey Allah and the Messenger, how you can obey the Messenger without the hadith? Uh, so you, you, you are discussing on that? Well, what does it mean to obey Allah and the Messenger? You know what does that mean? Do you want to have a debate on that? Proper debate on that? Well, proper debate. Ultimate, ultimate is talking about proper debate. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. I want you to debate and I'm going to put something in the screen. The Muslim Sunni scholars, they said, anyone don't accept the Hadith is not a Muslim. Do you want to debate them or do you want to debate me? I want to debate whoever says it, you or them. Okay, so you, you are saying, debate? okay, so you are saying that the yeah. Muslim Sunni, you are saying the Muslim Sunni, all of them, they are liars, correct? What I'm saying is, if you're ready to debate me, there, there are no Muslim Sunnis over here. I've been, I've been debating Muslim Sunni somewhere else. No, 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 no. I want you to tell me what is your opinion with the. No, no, no. You saw when, when somebody say, hold on, hold on. When the Muslim Sunni they say the one who don't accept the Hadith is not a Muslim. What do you say to them? I will say to them, Allah said, "Wamina nasi man yastari lahu al hadithi li yudilla an sabili Allah bi qairi ilm." This is Arabic, supposedly. This, 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 this is this is okay. Hold on, hold on. Before, 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 before you finish, this is what Arabic. This is this is what Arabic. This is what Arabic. You were reading Arabic. You were reading Arabic. Is that Arabic? You, you want to make fun? Yeah, uh, but that's wh exactly. Why you don't say things in Arabic if you don't speak let Arabic? Let me talk. Please. Well, I am asking you. Okay, I know I, you are let talking. You are, you are talking. Why you are saying things in Arabic if you don't speak Arabic? I said, let me answer <laughs> you. Answer you. Okay, go ahead. Can I answer? You? Sure. Okay. Um, after you ask. Me, okay. Then? Okay. Can we have a proper debate, please? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Uh, fourteen hundred years ago. Hmm. Allah said in the Quran, hmm. if the Quran would be revealed in a in a in a language other than Arabic, uh -huh. Arabs would have said, why is it revealed in this language? It's like if it would be revealed in English or in Spanish or in French or in Fulani, hmm. in any language to hmm. them, hmm. they would have said, why would it be revealed in this language? Hmm. Allah answered them. Hmm. Allah answered you too. Okay. Allah said. Whatever language it is, mm. what matters is for you to believe. Mm. Because I am the one explaining the Quran. Mm. That's the only book Allah chooses who will understand the book. Mm. It's not about being Arabic. Mm. You are Arabic, you don't understand nothing about the Quran. Mm. I am not Arabic. I understand better the Quran than you do. Because no. this is the only book that the writer mm. chooses who will understand it and who won't. Mm. Christian prince who let Okay, guys, we will stop here. So, Christian Prince is an Arab. He cannot understand the Quran. He is not an Arab who don't speak Arabic. He can understand the Quran. 
I mean, have you ever heard of a low IQ more than this? How you can understand the book if you don't speak the language? Listen carefully what this certified uh, uh, genius said. In English or in Spanish or in French or in Fulani, mm. in any language, to mm. them, mm. they would have said, why would it be revealed in this language? Mm. Allah answered them. Mm. Allah answered you too. Okay. Allah said, whatever language it is, mm. what matters is for you to believe. Because I am the one explaining the Quran. Mm. That's the only book Allah chooses who will understand the book. Mm. It's not about being Arabic. Mm. You are Arabic, you don't understand nothing about the Quran. Mm. I am not Arabic. I understand better the Quran than you do. Because no. this is the only book that the writer chooses mm. who will understand it and who won't. Mm. Christian prince will not be understanding the Quran mm. even though he's an Arabic. Mm. Be a PhD in Arabic. You will not understand the Quran if Allah did not decide that you will be understanding the Quran. Mm. You gotta be okay. can, I, can, I, can I skip? Can I? Okay, guys. So, if you have a PhD in Arabic, still you can understand the Quran. But the guy who doesn't speak one Arabic word, he will understand the Quran. If there is a Muslim here, listening, if there is a Muslim in the Fifi, Mimi, from those uh, make videos, if there is any Muslim here is listening? Any Muhammadan is listening? You heard your sheikh saying, sheikh, uh, this is a very big sheikh by the way in his country. This guy is a big sheikh. He have uh, 13 wives. You know, in those countries, like uh, the more you earn knowledge in the Quran, the more you get wives. Allah reward you. So, if you have a PhD in Arabic, you still you cannot understand the Quran. If you don't speak Arabic at all, you understand the Quran. Hmm. Now I have a book in the front of me, let us say in Chinese. And I am going to convince you that I understand this book, yet I cannot read a single word in the book. I mean, isn't it, this is a beautiful logic? I mean, this is not only logic, it's full of logic, full of it. A lot of logic. I mean, this religion will flood you with logic. And now we knew why you cannot understand uh, the Quran. Because to understand the Quran have nothing to do with you knowing the language. I will example, I will explain to you this book now. This book, uh, as you see, is written there in Chinese. Now, I don't speak Chinese, as you know, okay? But I will explain to you the book from the cover to the cover. First of all, this book is Chinese. This is the first explanation. Secondly, the second explanation, the color is kind of green. Number three, the first, the third explanation, the guy who was reading, he stopped in this page. Number four, the one who was reading, he drank whiskey. How we knew that? Or maybe this is Chinese uh, uh, tea, I don't know. So brother, I gave you a full explanation of a book which I do not know, I do not speak the language. What do you want more? So this I mean, one of the proofs that Allah is a is a fraud is the Muslims who defend him because if they are, if he is exist, he will make them smart. If Allah, because the guy he said Allah make you remember he's he's, he's the one who said that, not me. This is not my logic now. Allah make you understand the Quran. Allah he choose who will understand the Quran from who, and then later he said to us, you have to be a believer. Listen carefully, please. Listen and try not to laugh. In a, in a, in a language other than Arabic, uh -huh. Arabs would have said, 
Why is it revealed in this language? It's like if it would be revealed in English or in Spanish or in French or in Fulani, mm. in any language to mm. them, mm. they would have said, why would it be revealed in this language? Mm. Stop. Stop. Guys, I will go with this logic of Allah. This is the logic of Allah now, not the logic of uh, Sheikh Zainab. Uh, if I revealed in a language other than Arab, Arabic, they will say, why you reveal it in a different language? Hmm. But look, what does that mean? That's mean Allah, he, is, he knew that if you reveal it in different language, people will complain. And now because the Arab, they will complain, so he make it in Arabic. Okay, what about him, the guy from the middle of Africa, Senegal, wherever he is from, or Nigeria? Why Allah don't make it to him in his uh, in his language? All those verses speaking about Arabic, 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 Arabic. The verse he is quoting for us is this one. And if we had seen this as a as a Quran in a foreign language other than Arabic, they would have said, "Why not its verses explained in details?" So what is the logic here? We made it in Arabic, so we do not need explanation. Do you see it? But this mad person who have a low IQ, he said the opposite. He said you do not know, need to know Arabic in order to understand the Quran. But the verse he is quoting for us is saying the opposite. We made it in Arabic because if we don't make it in Arabic, they will say, why are not its verse explained in details? Because we don't speak the language. How we can have it explained in details? By making it in our language. Do you see it? The same verse he is quoting, proving the opposite of what he is saying. And then he continue, and now he is trying to prove his point, and here we will see the madness of the one who wrote the Quran. He says, what? A book not in Arabic? And the messenger is in Arab? Well, this is very funny, because those are Arab, and they don't like Arabic no more, and they don't like to have a messenger is in Arab? Doesn't make sense. See, it is, it is what? It is the Quran. It is for those who believe. A guide and healing. But look what the what this uh, Abdur he said. Listen carefully. Allah answered. Hmm. Allah answered you too. Okay. Allah said, whatever language it is, hmm. what matters is for you to believe, hmm. because I am the one explaining the Quran. Hmm. That's the only book Allah chooses who will understand the book. Hmm. It's not about being Arabic. Hmm. You are Arabic. You don't understand nothing about the Quran. Guys, so Allah will explain the Quran. Allah, he will explain the Quran. Okay. Where we can find the explanation for the Quran? In the Quran. Any Muslim can show me? Anything, anything, anything you want. Where we can find the explanation for the Quran in the Quran? In fact, Allah, Aka Muhammad, Aka Aisha, Aka Khadija, all those who made Muhammad, Muhammad, said it clearly that nobody understand the Quran, save Allah. And he is the one who said that he have tons of verses or statements, nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. Chapter 3, verse number 7. It is he who sent down to you, Muhammad, the book. But Allah never sent a book. Muhammad, he never received a book. In it, uh, in it, there is verses who they are entirely clear. Entirely clear? Okay, there's verses. And they are the foundation of the book. Like what? And in this book, there is verses who they are entirely not clear. <laughs> so 
So for those uh, in whose heart there is a, a, a deviation from the truth, they follow that which is not entirely clear. <laughs> Anyone want to drink something? It's a joy to laugh at this religion. So guys, Allah, He make verses in the Quran and the purpose of those verses to mislead the Muslims. Because remember, at the end of the day, those who believe and those who don't believe is the only one who is going to take to consider the Quran seriously. So the Quran cannot mislead me unless I believe in the words, correct? Do you understand what I'm saying? The Muslim, they can't say, oh, he meant the Christian, he meant the Jews. No, because in order to be misled by something, then you have to consider it. You have to believe in it. Otherwise, nobody mislead you. As an example, if I say to you, oh, take the highway of this exit, and this is a wrong exit, but you don't believe I'm telling the truth. How I can mislead you? No way. None of the Christians accept anything Muhammad said, so they knew he's a fraud. So how he can mislead them? He can mislead only those who believe. Correct? Are we listening? And this is the low IQ of the author of the Quran. And here, when he says, so those who their heart uh, have a, 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 like a, uh, you know, they have a problem in their heart, they follow the not entirely clear verses. And what they seek, they seek fitna. Fitna is something you do between Muslims. This is not the Christians and Muslim. This is fitna. It's something happening between Muslim and a Muslim. Problems. Seeking problem. And seeking for it is hiding meaning, but none knows it's hiding meaning save Allah. Look at this stupid madness book. So why what you are sending me those verses? As long you admitted that those verses are harmful to the Muslims. Because as you see, they will mislead people. Allah is Satan. Allah is a, is a Satan. He is sending us verses, uh, if I'm a Muslim, not for me as a Christian, because at the end of the day, I don't believe in all this garbage. This is stupid. We are laughing at it. So the Quran admitted that the Quran is a book of guidance and book of misleading. He misleads some Muslims and he guides some Muslims. The same book. Who said that? The Quran in front of your eyes. And then look what the Quran said. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, but this idiot he said he do not need, need to knowledge. Is Arabic is knowledge? Yes. Is he speaking a language knowledge? Absolutely. Because this is something we earn, we are not born with. Anything you earn by practice, training, it is a knowledge, not something born with you. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge, they say, we believe in the whole, the clear and the unclear. Do you see it? But this potato he caught for us, saying that Allah will explain to us the Quran. And the Quran explained to who? Only to the believers. Listen. Hmm. I am not Arabic. I understand better the Quran than you do because no. this is the only book that the writer chooses hmm. Who will understand it? The writer, he chooses who will understand it. This is not a book to, for you to understand unless the writer, he chooses who understand it. I mean, do you see the, do you see the intelligence? Okay. The writer of the book choose who will understand this book. Let us make some uh, study here. Little study. Let us say we have two group of Muslims.
group A and a group B. Allah is the only one can choose who to understand the Quran. <clears throat> Either Allah will choose, let us say, Allah He choose group number A to understand the Quran. Wonderful. To do what? To understand. And Allah, he chose a group B not to understand the Quran. Wonderful. Why Allah wanna do such a stupid behavior. Any Muslim have an answer. Why Allah? You see, I'm going with the Muhammadan logic. This is not my logic. This is what you said to me. We just heard it. Why Allah want to do such a stupid behavior? Why he want to make some Muslims understand the Quran? And he want to make some Muslims don't understand the Quran. Do we have any Muslim? Guys, is that is it, is it a good question? We just heard them saying, Allah is the one who make you understand the Quran. So Allah, He chose who to understand and who not to understand. And this is from the Muslim too. Because as you see, the Quran confirmed that those who they have problem in their heart from the Muslims, not from us, we don't follow the Quran anyway. They will follow those verses. What do you say? Any Muslim have an answer? Why Allah decide to do such a thing? He made you Muslims not to understand the Quran. And some of you, only those who they are knowledgeable, still don't understand the Quran. They say, just we believe. We believe in the clear and the unclear. Those who they are, <coughs> guys, please watch your language in the chat. Otherwise, we have to block you. Okay, and forget about those uh, kids. Anyone? Who is a Muslim have an answer for this madness? So now if you convert to Islam, there is one of two luck, you know, luck to face, destiny, let us say. Either Allah, he chose you to understand the Quran, or you will be from the group number B, which not to understand the Quran. So what is the point of converting to this cult? And now, as long Allah and the Muslims agree that he is the one who chooses who to understand and who not to understand. How you Muslim will know which one understanding truly and who is the one not understanding? To make it more clear, as long now we have two groups, now yes, I said A, understand, and B, are not understanding, correct? Yeah, but in reality, each one of them claim that they are the one who understand the Quran. You know what I mean? In reality, both of them, they will say, we understand the Quran. None of them will say, no, we don't. So the one who don't understand the Quran, they don't believe that they are not understanding the Quran. And those who understand the Quran, they believe that they are the one understand the Quran. Okay. 
So you as a Muslim now, how you will know which one is the one who truly understand the Quran and the one who is not? Are we listening? And now we notice that Allah is the one who divide the Muslims. Who said that? We just heard it. Allah divide the Muslims and he deceive some of the Muslims and he guide some of the Muslims. And he is the one who choose who from the Muslims will understand the Quran and who will not understand the Quran. So Allah is the devil. Because the purpose of this book, if it is book from God, is to guide all mankind, not to say I will make a group A and group B, and then they will be my victims. We heard Sheikh Zainab, may Allah bless her, saying that it is Allah who choose, who will understand. In a, in a language other than Arabic, uh -huh. Arabs would have said, why is it revealed in this language? It's like if it would be revealed in English or in Spanish or in French or in Fulani, mm. in any language to mm. them, mm. they would have said, why would it be revealed in this language? Why? Mm. Why? Allah answered them. Allah answered them. Okay. Allah answered you too. Mm. Allah said, whatever language it is, mm. what matters is for you to believe. Mm. Because I am the one explaining the Quran. Mm. That's the only book Allah chooses who will understand the book. Mm. It's not about being Arabic. Mm. You are Arabic, you don't understand nothing about the Quran. Mm. I am not Arabic. I understand better the Quran than you do. Okay, so that Allah, he chose Sheikh Zainab. Allah, he chose him. Allah did not choose me. The verse in the front of us is about Muslims only, not about Christians, you know. It's about Muslims. Because it says those who follow it. We don't follow it. And those who want to cause fitna, fitna is something you do between Muslims. Muslims are Muslims. And as long as Allah is the one who chooses who to understand, who not to understand, that means this is the mistake of Allah, not the mistake of who misunderstand. You see, if Allah is God, and He is the one who have the decision in His hand, then He said, okay, you Shia don't understand the Quran. You Sunni understand the Quran. Okay. That means Allah is the one who made the Shia Shia. That means Allah is the one who is causing division inside Islam. Because this is the Muslim Muhammadan logic. It is Allah who he choose who to understand and who not to understand. Do we have any Muslim have any comment before we continue with Sheikh Zainab? Peace upon her. The reason I'm calling her Sheikh Zainab because this uh, woman, she called me and used Zainab. Zainab is a woman name. So uh, this is her name, you know, I don't know. I mean, he sounds like a sound of a voice of a man, but obviously he thinks he's a girl, so he called himself Zainab. So I have to go with the name. Ahmad, he wants to prove that Farid is a fool. My friend, you do not need to prove it to me. You know, He himself, he knew that. When you bring somebody supposedly to prove that the Christian prince is lying and then the Muslim he say life on air this guy he was coming to me and he asked me a questions only scholars they knew there's no way he knew it and Farid is shaking his head they just admitted that I am a scholar what do you mean he's a fool I do not need to prove it I mean how stupid you are you are making live broadcast to say Christian prince he do not know anything. And then you bring a Muslim and the Muslim say, live on air in his video. The question was given to me from this person. There is no way normal person, average person would know only scholars they knew. Talking about me. And you are telling me you need to prove that he is an, uh, an idiot, fool. He's a fool like your prophet. We do not need to prove it. Now, 
We go back to Sheikh Zainab, peace upon her. And may Allah find her husband. How Allah he choose and why he Allah he choose? This guy, he don't speak Arabic. He understand the Quran way better than me. How that happen? How that happen? How you can understand the book if you cannot read the book? That's one of the things which is unique in this religion, if we can call it religion. And the unique about it, that in order to explain something, you have to be stupid. This is what he's saying to us. I have to be ignorant, stupid. I do not know. And then I explain to you what I do not know. So I do not know Arabic, but I will explain to you what the Arabic is saying. This is exactly what this idiot is saying to us. May Allah forgive her soul. In English or in Spanish or in French or in Fulani, mm. in any language to mm. them, mm. they would have said, why would it be revealed in this language? Mm. Allah answered them. Mm. Allah answered you too. Mm. Allah said, whatever language it is, mm. what matters is for you to believe. Mm. Because I am the one explaining the Quran. Mm. That's the only book Allah chooses who will understand the book. Mm. It's not about being Arabic. Mm. You are Arabic, you don't understand nothing about the Quran. Mm. I am not Arabic. I understand better the Quran than you do. Because no. this is the only book that the writer mm. chooses who will understand it and who won't. Mm. Christian prince will not be understanding the Quran mm. even though he's an Arabic. Mm. Be a PhD in Arabic, mm. you will not understand the Quran if Allah did not decide that you will be understanding the Quran. Mm. Guys, by the way, all my books, before when I wrote them, I decide who understand them and who don't, just to let you know. Mm -hmm. Allah, he wrote books. And he decide when he wrote the books, who will understand the book and who don't understand the book. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Can I speak now? I want to make you understand the Quran, okay. finish the sentence. Mm. If, uh, if Allah has chosen you, even though you do not understand the Arabic, that you will be understanding the Quran. Okay. You're making a mistake. Thank you. You understand? Can I talk? This is a high level religion over here. Can you Go ahead. Okay. Guys, he just said, and everybody heard him, that if Allah did not allow me to understand the Quran, I will not. So you are saying to me that your stupid Allah is the reason for me I don't understand the Quran and you are claiming me to be stupid because Allah is a stupid because if Allah he said the book as a book of guidance and you just said if Allah did not allow me to understand the Quran I will never understand it and then you're blaming me for being a fool as you claim for not understanding the Quran even though I speak Arabic but you are the one who said I didn't understand the Quran because Allah don't allow me to understand the Quran so now I am not allowed to understand the Quran but I'm required to understand the Quran even though I speak Arabic but I cannot do it because Allah don't allow me to understand the Quran so who is the donkey here Mr. Ultimate for secondly you said that no. I speak Arabic. Oh, hold on hold on for what secondly come on you, you you just the guy he's a, you left nothing of him he became busy so Allah, He chose who understand the Quran. Allah make a Christian prince not to understand the Quran. And then Allah will punish Christian prince for not understanding the Quran. I mean, do you see what it's mean to be super intellect? Intelligence? That is Islam. The second you, you are a Muslim, you are a super genius. You are not only genius, my friend. No, 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 no. That is not the case. You are super genius. Super tuper. If we call even Zakir Naik in his old phone number, I have his old phone, his hard line. What he will say about this? <laughs> He's not answering.
What's wrong with Dr. Mac? I'm really worried about him now. I hope he's okay. Christian friends, I know it's you call me. I don't even know to call me. You, 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 man, are you okay? We, 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 I called you many times and you are not answering. Because I was busy. Busy with what? I'm trying to understand the Quran. You are trying what? To understand the Quran. Ah, you are trying to understand the Quran. So, Zakir, you know, actually, this is our topic for today. And uh, it's like, uh, it's a coincidence. Maybe Jibreel inspired you. Exactly. Uh, so, who is the one who understands the Quran in your opinion? Ibn Kathir al Qurtubi al Jalalain. Or you? Father, don't name you answer to me. I didn't meet them. I never met them. Okay, I'm not asking you if you met them. For sure, you never met them. They died long before you, man. So, how you want to meet them? This is not the question. But who of them is the one who understands the Quran better? Are you one of those who understand the Quran? And are they the one who don't understand the Quran? Which one of you understand? Is the Shia, Al Khomeini? Who understand the Quran? Federal, let me explain to you. Uh, hold on. Did you say the word explain? Exactly. But you just said you cannot explain the Quran. You know, I mean, the, the, we heard the Muslims saying that the, you can explain the Quran uh, unless you are, uh, 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 you know, Allah chose you. So if you explain the Quran to me, still I will not understand, right? Exactly. Ah, so you will explain the Quran for me, but still I will not understand it after your explanation. Exactly. Exactly, Mike. You are making me sick with this word. Exactly. Is that the only word you know? Exactly. Okay, no problem. So now, if you want to explain to me the Quran, how you will do that if Allah said nobody will understand the Quran save Allah? Elizabeth, Allah He mentioned that about verses nobody knows what they mean save Allah. Okay, not all verses. Okay. Can you explain to me why in the chapter of Al-Fatiha, Allah, he say in the name of Allah, when he is Allah? I can't explain that to you. You can't explain what? I can't explain that to you. Okay. So this one you cannot explain. Uh-huh. Okay. How in the Quran, verse number two, chapter number one, Allah, he says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allah is thanking Allah. Can you explain that to me? I can explain that to you. Okay. How Allah, in verse number three, in the first chapter in the Quran, He says in the beginning, the most beneficent, the most merciful, and then He repeats the same words in the third verse. What is the point of this? Any explanation? I can explain that to you. Okay. What about chapter one, verse number four, in the same chapter? It says, He is. He is the one who is in control of the judgment day. Can you explain that to us? I can explain that to you very easily. So finally, you know how to explain this one. That's genius. So the first one, we skip it. The second one, we skip it. The third one, we skip it. The fourth, you know it. That's amazing. Okay, hold on. How in verse number five, Allah said, you we worship how Allah he said to himself you we worship explain to us you alone we seek help how that happened I can explain to you okay how Allah he say guide us to the straight way Allah speaking to who I can explain that to you okay you cannot explain that to us what about here verse number seven the way of those who on whom you bestowed your grace, not the way of those who earned your anger, nor those who went astray. Can you explain that to us? This is really I can explain to you as a driver my bicycle. So, Zach and Naik, what we learn from this, out of seven verses, you can explain only two. But how you can explain the two without explaining the verses with them? That is the miracle. It's a miracle. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think you need a medical attention, Zachary Naik. Have you ever heard of a book? The God of the book, he say in the name of Allah. A Muslim, he might say, oh, no, here it's a, it's a prayer. But where it says, pray like this. You see, Jesus, they ask him how to pray. He say, say like this, our Father out of heaven. 
Allah is not saying this is a prayer. This is the verse delivered to Muhammad as it is, supposedly according to Muslim, not one word missing, what not one word is added. Do you see anywhere it says a prayer like this? Say like this? No. In the name of Allah, who is talking? Allah. Allah is saying in the name of Allah. Obviously, the author of the Quran is an idiot. He forget to switch. So, if this is happening in the first chapter in the Quran, what will happen if we flip to the second chapter, third chapter, fifth chapter? Uh, okay, hold on. Zakane. Brother, why they call the chapter of the cow? The cow chapter. Zakir? Zakir? He hung up. I have to call him again. Hmm. What happened to Zakir? I don't know. He's there. Let me call him to the other number. Hold on. Oh, the voice changed. What happened? Let me call again. I think I, I, I dialed the wrong number. Hello? What the heck? Oh, hold on. This is going to be him. What happened to his voice? Maybe because after he understand the Quran, his voice changed? Uh, let me check the number. Hold on. What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. there's some there's an, uh, a technical difficulty, please. I uh, know it looks like this number is not working. Let me call him in the old number. Christian friends, I told you leave me alone. You are really an idiot. Uh, uh, hold on, I just have a question, man, because you are the one who understands the Quran, and we are like left without you, hopeless. So please, you know, your, your majesty. So I was asking you when you hang up, why the chapter 2 in the Quran called the chapter of the cow? Does that have anything to do with the Hindus? Little Prince, first of all, this is insulting, and you are trying to insult Islam. Why I'm insulting? I'm just asking why the chapter is called the cow chapter. I want to know. I'm going to explain to you. So you know how and you know why? That's amazing. So here we go. Some of them, they knew why. Why it's called the cow. Because Allah, he said to Musa, there is somebody, he killed somebody. Ah, there is somebody, killed somebody. Which one is the first body and which one is the second body? Kiss the prince. I don't care which body is the first body. And I don't care who the second body. What I care for is the explanation. Ah, okay. So it's not part of the explanation to know who is the first body and who is the second body. But it's okay, no problem. So what happened, uh, uh, Brother Zakir? Explain to us, please, uh, uh, why the cow chapter called uh, the cow chapter. Uh, Zakir? Zakir, are you searching Google? Shame on you, Zakir. I thought you know. Christian Prince, I don't have to Google. I memorized it in my heart. Okay. So why it's called the chapter of the cow? If you open chapter 2, verse number 33, you will say that Allah, he said to Musa, when there is somebody, he killed somebody. And they want to know who that is body who killed that body. Who is that body who killed that body? Exactly. Allah told Musa, bring the dead body and beat him with the cow. Beat him with what? With the cow? Exactly. So now this guy was killed. And now why we want to beat him with the cow? I will explain to you. Because Allah, he went to the house to know who is the one who killed the guy. So if we beat the guy with pieces from the cow, is it pieces or the whole cow? Pieces. Do you know what pieces it is? It doesn't matter. Some interpretation they say the tail of the cow. Some interpretation they say the tongue of the cow. Some interpretation they say the leg of the cow. Some interpretation they say <coughs> of the cow. 
So uh, which one is your preference, the penis or the tail? Because be be serious. You, you are the one saying to me, some. <clears throat> what does that mean? I was coughing because of Corona. Ah, okay. I thought you are coughing because it's like, uh, <clears throat> you know, something you cannot say. Ah, okay. Uh, sorry for misunderstanding. Exactly. And that's why I let the Quran, he said that some people don't have it in their taboo. And he didn't prove my point. Uh, what? The Quran says, this is why I will have misunderstanding. But you cough, you did not say anything. So now, Allah, he said to you, strike the guy, the dead guy, with the pieces of the cow. And then what will happen? And then Allah will bring the dead man to life. Ah. So in Islam, if Allah want to bring somebody to life, he beat him with cow meat. No one doubt beef is expensive in USA. Exactly. Pork is very cheap. Because if you eat pork from now until tomorrow and you beat a dead person, he will never come back to life. Okay. Uh, now, in the verse in the front of me, it says, Thus Allah bring the dead to the life and show his sign. Which means, this is how Allah, he bring the dead people to the life. Is that how Allah will bring us to life in the judgment day? Zakir? First of all, this is above my great answer. I cannot answer you this one. Ah, I thought you understand this verse uh, very well. But now like we are in the middle and we are in trouble. So should we go back? We cannot go back. But simply, why are you making it complicated? But the verse is saying, Zakir, this is thus Allah bring the dead to life, which means this is how Allah, he bring the dead to life. So why you cannot answer? And why Allah, he need a cow, pieces of a cow, to beat a man, to bring him back to life. Christian print this is a miracle. Okay, this is not the question. Can't Allah make the miracle happen without beating the guy anyway? Aren't you Muslim, you say Allah, he say be and is going to be? Hmm. There is someone from Indonesia want to talk, CP, his YouTube. Well, he want to talk where? You want to call me in Skype? Hmm. We will open Skype later. So anyway, Zakir, please. Why Allah needed the cow in order to bring the person from death? Do you have any explanation? Great friends, Allah, he said, he used the cow. That means Allah, he used the cow. Why? I don't know. That's so amazing. That's so beautiful. Once I went to the FBI building, and now I understand why I found in the first floor a whole floor just for beef. Look like what they do when somebody get killed and they want to know who killed him, they beat him with beef and he came back to life. Hmm. All right. We will open Skype. You know, usually those people who call, they are not even serious. You know, they are just a bunch of kids, but we will give them a chance to call us. Let us open Skype. No problem. <clears throat> and I hope they will stay with us in the topic. All right. What's your name, my friend? In Skype, so we can call you. Anyone? Where is this guy? <clears throat> he did not text me, he did not do anything. So all this noise for what? You made us a stop, uh, uh, call, our call with His uh, uh, Highness Zakir Naik and his short pant. And now I cannot find you. Where is you? Where, where are you? Where is the guy who want to call me, guys? Why you made me go to Skype for nothing? Hmm. 
Where is Maulana? I don't see anyone texting me. No text. I mean, I, I have too many texts, actually. I mean, I have thousands, actually. But now, I don't see anything there with any Muslim name. The top names in the top, like the first 50, maybe they are just Christians here. Okay, my friend, there's nothing. It's called Mawlana Ibrahim. I can show you my Skype. Nobody takes me with this name. Mr. Mawlana Ibrahim, can you call me, please? Can you at least text me and I will call you back? If you don't mind. Are you there, my friend? And don't worry, my friend. Allah will support you. Maulana, are you there, my friend? You see, if Allah is with you, you will be victorious. So for sure you will be victorious because you are a Muslim defending Islam and I am a Christian. I mean, there is no way I will win. And not only that, you might get opportunity and cause me to have a heart attack and then you perform a miracle by beating me by some beef and you bring me back to life. I hope you have some beef with you. Please, I, you know, I like it from the shoulder. You know, if you want to beat me, don't beat me from the tail or something. Come on. Shoulder, the heart, you know. Use something nice. I mean, or don't use something between the legs or something. Don't you want to... What happened to Maulana? Maulana, don't force me to call you and exchange you with Zakir Naik. Okay, look like Maulana is not going to call me anyway, and I do not know what to do. Let us try to call Maulana in Indonesia. Assalamu alaikum, Maulana. First of all, I am not Maulana, and my name is Zakir Naik, and you are being stupid now. Uh, sorry, Zakir Naik, I don't know. I thought this is the number of Maulana from Indonesia. Because uh, he, the, 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 the code number, it says uh, Indonesia. Uh, why, why are you answering the phone? Please, the prince, I am going to be in dumb in your face in the You call in China, I will appear you. You call in Zimbabwe, I will answer you. You call in Sri Lanka, I will be there. Man, Zakir Naik, you are everywhere, man. You remind me of Imam Ali. He was in Baghdad in the same time he was in Bombay. In the same time he was in Sri Lanka. In the same time, he was in uh, 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 in Mosul. That's so beautiful, Zakanai. How you can do that, man? I told you, the secret in the beef. Ah, the beef. You 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 get your power from the beef. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what? Since I talked to you from the beginning, I noticed that you have a beefy smell. You believe it or not? I don't know how I noticed that, but like sound. You know they say in English, fishy. In your case, it was not fishy. It was beefy. Exactly. Hey, Maulana, where are you, man? Where is Maulana? You know what? I don't think you are Maulana. I think you are Mau. 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 In the front of the Muslim, you are a hero. I'm going to call it Christian Prince. You come here, you see Christian Prince? Mau. Did somebody push you to come here? Do your mom even knew? Honestly, do your mom even knew that you are coming here? Okay, I want you to check first with your parents, my friends, and ask your mom if it's okay to come here and call me. Yes, I understand you are 60 years old, but still, my friend, obviously you are not mature enough. You don't speak English? What do you mean? Speak? So guys, you want to call me you want to don't speak English? What's wrong with you? All right. Let me log off Skype then. We open Skype for nothing. Uh. Hmm. All right.
going back to reality we thought we are going to have some fantasy it's fantasy to speak to a Muslim because you feel like you are flying in fairy tale stories Suleiman, sorry, Musa's, and by the way, the Muslims, they have an article about this verse saying that the Quran speak about heart massage. What, what, what? Heart massage, brother. The Quran speak about heart massage? Yes, brother. Let me show you how they lie and how they fabricate. just to show you the scam, the fraud, this religion is suffering from. <clears throat> uh. Oh buddy, oh boy, oh boy. The miracle of heart massage in the Quran, brother. By the way, the one, the founder of this website, he is in jail. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? This is the one who started the fraud of miracle in the Quran. Who knows why? His name is Harun Yahya. Do you know why he is in jail in Turkey right now? Who knows? Nobody knows? He is in jail for a human trafficking and sex pimp business with the children. He is the one, the founder of the propaganda of miracles, scientific miracles. He is the first one. Now let us see what he says. Many miraculous features in the of the Quran prove it. It is the word of Allah. Facts are revealed in the verses through the science facts. The description of, of the past of the mathematical codes that could never have been known to anyone at that time in, in addition development and that could never have been learned in the level of knowledge and the technology at, of that time we are also indicate in the verses of the Quran before the event blah 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 okay now what is what is the miracle now heart Massage in the Quran. Chapter of the cow. Which chapter? The cow. Thank you. Verse number 72 and 73. According to this scumbag, this is about heart massage. But my friend, science teach or doctors, you do heart massage. Not for someone caught by the sword, you know, killed by the sword. Where, where in the verse it says massage his heart? It says beat him by a cow specifically. If you look at the verse, you will see he took all the parts of the cow. Anyone see the word cow? Where is the cow thing? Where is the cow? Hmm? He don't put the cow because it's supposed to beat by the cow. This is why the whole chapter called the cow. You killed, and li listen carefully. This is their own translation just to show you how they lie. When you killed someone in a violently, killed him what? Violently, you idiot. Heart massage is for somebody have heart attack, not, not, not somebody killed by a sword. I mean, their lie is beyond the stupidity. So according to science, if we kill somebody by the sword, we can bring him back to life by giving him heart massage? And the guy is already dead? By the sword? People who die violently by sword, they die from bleeding, not because they have heart attack. Is that correct? Do you see how they lie? When the verse is about beating somebody with some beef and he is killed violently by the sword. And then look, they say, uh, the word Udrubuhu uh, translate as a part in above verse. Someone or some people 
in context that the meaning verse may be uh, always to cover their ass when they lie they say maybe so this is a miracle of maybe maybe a reference to heart massage okay let me use my uh, the word maybe in my own way maybe you are a donkey maybe you are a cow maybe you are a stupid but for sure you are a fraud not maybe Because nothing of what you said is exist in the Quran. The Quran say clearly, killed him violently. We read the interpretation, we find that killed him by the sword. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? So, going back to our topic, forget about this now. The cow thing. A cow religion. The biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. But by the way, the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of the cow, which means there's hundreds of verses are missing. The cow chapter, if you look, if you look with me, look how many verses it is. 286 verses. 286 verses. The companions of Muhammad, including his family, they say that Al-Ahzab used to be equal in the length to al-baqarah how many it is 73 73 so how many is missing 286 minus 73 213 verses missing in one chapter Two hundred thirteen verses is missing in one chapter in the Quran. According to who? According to Muslims. Missing totally. Nobody can find them. And the funny they say to us that the only book is preserved is the Quran. And then we find that the goat ate the Quran. And you know the story about the goat. I don't know why we are all over the place. We change topic from place. But just to remind you, brother, you know, I like to remind you. The Quran is the only book is preserved. However, the Quran can be under danger if you allowed certain animals to be around it. Like what? Goats. Goats are very dangerous to put them around the Quran. As you see here in the front of us, this is Aisha. And Aisha is saying that when they were busy, would Allah prophet death a, gay, a goat a tame sheep uh, uh, came and ate the Quran to explain to you the situation you might not be uh, understanding the situation uh, the situation is very uh, very disturbing the situation here is kind of uh, very very uh, disturbing all right, let me explain to you the situation. This very goat is guilty in eating chapters and verses in the Quran. And most likely was sent by the Jews. And maybe she converted to Judaism and the Jews they sent her. And I'm very grateful for the brothers and sisters to publish her picture in their website. So if anyone can find the goat, so we can arrest her. And by the way, this goat, we have full picture of her in her bedroom. Reading the Quran, which is missing today. If this goat, she thinks she can run away, you are dreaming. We will find you. Brother. So all the garbage they say to us about the preservation of the Quran in their books proving to be a fraud. And now we are looking for this goat. There's a big reward, by the way. If you can't find this goat, uh, the Muslim will pay you a lot of money. All right? 
Don't, but don't cut it and eat it because they need to open the stomach. So maybe they can find leftover of the Quran. Maybe some verses here stuck in the side of the pili, the stomach somewhere. You never know. Maybe this uh, goat did not digest the whole thing. I, I, actually, I believe it's very hard to digest the Quran. It's impossible, actually. How does God can do that? Maybe she ate it, but she cannot digest it because the Quran says, brother, nobody can understand the Quran. As long as you cannot understand the Quran, that's mean you cannot digest the Quran. Very simple. Hmm. And what is uh, very nice here that there's verses of a breast feeding for adult. Have you ever heard of such a beautiful religion, the God of this religion? Teach Muslim women to give their boobs to a stranger ten times. Hold on. I am a dreamer. If I convert to Islam right now, what I will get? Brother, first of all, you will get ten times, brother. Breast feeding from from who very beautiful uh, very beauty beauty you know very very uh, uh, what very beautiful oh well, not very very attractive uh, no not very attractive that's so much sexual that's not nice uh very uh, hot hot she will burn me man i'm going to put my lips in her nipples i don't want to burn my lips okay uh, a very uh uh conservative ah, conservative that's make sense conservative that's that's really so beautiful to have a conservative breastfeeding very very conservative i mean this is a lot of conservative so we Muslims, we are very conservative. We don't allow women to shake hands, but you can shake their boobs and you can suckle them. So beautiful. How many times? Ten times in ten different days and you have to do it until you are satisfied. So beautiful. Why? Why people don't convert to Islam? Why? So Allah, he revealed that a man, he should do breastfeeding for adult ten times. Muslims, can you explain to me this verse? What is the purpose of this verse? Anyone? Any Muslim can explain to us the purpose? What is the purpose of this verse? Don't tell me there is no purpose. Huh? Okay. To make it simple for you, maybe you are not educated in. Uh, maybe you are like under age. You are like like me, young. You know, like, you know, maybe you are like eighty or something like me. So, uh, brother. This is a woman. Now, the reason this woman, she will not look good, brother, because she don't have makeup yet. After makeup, she will look totally different, brother. Trust me. Because as you know, brother, women without makeup, they look something. And after makeup, they look from different galaxy, brother. So this woman, brother, she don't have makeup yet. And now you are a Muslim. And you are going to go to her house. Brother. She is not allowed, brother, to see your brother. Because you are a stranger. So Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. He come with a very, very high technically. May Allah take you. What is that? It uh, okay, skip that word. Uh, highly, uh, very highly, uh, 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 you know, calculately, uh, and uh, he ordered those women to take off their clothes and to give their boobs. Alhamdulillah. So you go, brother, and you suckle this woman boobs, and then, brother, you can see her. Like, hold on, I just so I suckle her first, and then I see her next. Hello? So I cannot see her, but I can suckle her? 
Uh, what? What the heck? Genius! Genius prophet! Hilary! I mean, did I say Elias? No, I can't say Elias. Most of them, they kill you. Don't insult the prophet. They will kill you. This time is peace. Uh, uh, high intellect. Ethical. Conservative prophet. You cannot shake hands with them. But you can hold their boobs and suck at it. May Allah suck at you. And then the Muslims, in order to get away from this garbage, they say, no, 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 no. The woman, she will do, uh, 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 take her uh, milk and put it in a cup, and now then she give it to him. You idiot liar. It says sakal. It says a breastfeeding. In Arabic, it says ardu'iyya. You put your lips on something and you hold it with your lips. I hope I'm not corrupting your mind here by, by those. The, 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 by the way, just to let you know, uh, we have a contract with the Playboy magazine. Uh, all the drawing I use is only they are exclusive contract with the Playboy by the permission of Allah, peace upon him. Hmm. So don't try to copy and print my pictures here. Hello? And don't blame me for being tempted now because you, you see they are they look so beautiful i mean look at this drawing oh hold on i forgot to that's not right actually where is the hold on a woman without high heels that's impossible okay hold on uh, high heels that is better now more Realistic. Hold on, what is the hands? What realistic, you idiot? What is the hands? This is her hand. She's doing makeup. That is more, makes sense. Okay, there's anything missing? Anything missing? I think now it's perfected. Like the Quran says, today I perfected for you your religion and chosen Islam for your religion. I think now I perfected the Bixar for you. Oh, hold on, the hair is missing. What happened? She was serving in the army or what? Here. Okay. Here. This is her hair. And she have a long hair, actually. See, very, very sexy. Look, her hair go, like, you know, here. And here, uh, she have, like, uh, like uh, something, like flower here. And, uh, and her hair at the end, she, she can tie it, you know? Art, art, you know, I, I, by the way, humbly, I, I don't want to share this with you. I, I won many, uh, uh, like, uh, pray, prize for uh, art. I mean, if you go to to art uh, studio these days, you, you see something more more silly than this, and supposedly this is an art. And the guy, he stands, he's, ah, mm -hmm. so this is a rock, and the rock is a bread net. The rock is a bread net? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hmm. we go back to our topic how many of you please tell me that you hate me how many of you hate me please please it's okay it's okay let us be honest here and let us uh, say it how many hate me Filipino here G you are a Filipino sigue sigue you know in the Philippines they say sigue sigue I said what is that sigue sigue Anything they want to agree with you, they say to you, Sige Sige. And you know, for me, that's a Sige Sige. Uh -huh. So let us think about it. This woman here, she agree to do Sige Sige. According to Allah teaching. Do you understand me, brother? This is Sige Sige. Mm hmm that's a lot of Sige Sige that's a hell of a Sige Sige 
That's Iga Siga Siga Sugu, Saka Kaha, Saka Hu, Saka Stupid, Saka Mant. What? That's so beautiful. Huh? Thank you, thank you for all the love. What I would get with this love? Somebody make me a sandwich. I did not eat since yesterday. And I did not sleep all night while speaking to you until the morning. Unbelievable. I mean, Islam is more, more, more giving, more beautiful. Look at those women. They do breastfeeding for a person they don't even know. How very open-minded. Hmm. Uh, Amelia is saying in Arabic, "Wala bikaso yastatiyu rasm mitluk." What bikaso? What bik First of all, bikaso was one of my students, and this is why actually I am the one who gave him the name. I will explain to you. His real name is not Picasso. His real name is Pickup Honda. And then when he started talking to me, you know, he saw he saw the light, you know, like he saw the light of Allah. So I changed his name. I cut the Pika, which means Pickup, and then I add So because he saw. And this is how we made him Picasso. And this is a true story, brother. You can find the reference in Tahir Bukhari. Book number 22, brother, number three. And this is how Picasso became Picasso. I, I'm humbly I'm sharing my knowledge with you, but I should not. You know, this is just supposedly a secret between me and him, uh, because uh, <clears throat> he don't want people to know what happened exactly. Like as they say, what happened in Vegas is stay in Vegas. But, but to be honest with you, this did not happen in Vegas. This is, has uh, ha, happened in uh, Brazil uh, when I was there. You know, because Picasso is originally. He was from Brazil, you know, which is in Indonesia. And because he was in Indonesia, uh, Brazil, uh, it was very cold there and, uh, uh, you know, a lot of snow. And then there was a big bear, he came, and uh, the, the big bear, he, uh, you know, he was attacked by the bees. And the bees then uh, inspire Allah. So Allah, he says, if Allah, he wants something to be, he say be. And this is where the word bees came from, brother. I hope you understand, brother. Hmm. We go back to the topic. Oh. Somebody asking who is at the screen. Are you serious? This is a very famous actor. What's wrong with you? I mean, can you believe it that somebody do not know such a famous actress until now and you are saying who is in the screen? You don't, don't have TV at home? Does it sound familiar for you? You must be suffering from weak vision. I advise you, brother, from now on to eat the medicine the Prophet of Allah, he advise. Camel your him. No. What we learned today from our Muslim genius that in order for you to understand the Quran, you have to be first a believer Second, Allah, he choose who believe who is not. So now we are going back to zero. And by the way, we are, we always go back to zero. I mean, we love it. We never f finish the highway. We start like a few steps and then we get bored and get lazy. And now we need to make tea and we go back to zero. There's a guy, he posted a picture on Facebook of him when he was six years old or something like a child. And there's a big hole in the road behind him and then he posted a picture for him when he is over the age of 30 and the hole is still there alhamdulillah because in the middle east they say inshallah we will do it but they never do anything this is why they are what they are still will not so you are saying to me that you're stupid allah okay hold on don't when, say when the muslim sunni they say the one who don't accept the hadith is not a muslim what do you say to them I will say to them, Allah said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهُوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُدِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِقَيْرِ إِلْمٍ This is Arabic supposedly? This, this, that people with this is, this is, okay, hold on, hold on. Before, 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 before you finish, this is what Arabic? This is, this is what Arabic? This is what Arabic? You were reading Arabic? You were reading Arabic. Is that Arabic? 
you, you want to make fun yeah uh, but that's well, exactly why you don't say things in arabic if you don't speak arabic let me talk to well i am asking you, you me, okay i know I, you are let talking you are, you are talking why you are saying things in arabic if you don't speak arabic i said let me answer <laughs> to you answer you okay go ahead can i answer you? sure okay um, after you ask okay okay can we have a proper debate please sure go ahead okay hmm. Uh, 1400 years ago, hmm. Allah said in the Quran, hmm. if the Quran would be revealed in a, in a, in a language other than Arabic, uh -huh. Arabs would have said, why is it revealed in this language? It's like if it would be revealed in English or in Spanish or in French or in Fulani, hmm. in any language to hmm. them, hmm. they would have said, why would it be revealed in this language? Hmm. Allah answered them. Hmm. Allah answered you too. Okay. Allah said, whatever language it is, hmm. what matters is for you to believe. Hmm. Because I am the one explaining the Quran. Hmm. That's the only book Allah chooses who will understand the book. Hmm. It's not about being Arabic. Hmm. You are Arabic, you don't understand nothing about the Quran. Hmm. I am not Arabic. I understand better the Quran than you do. Because no. this is the only book that the writer hmm. chooses who will understand it and who won't? Mm. Christian prince will not be understanding the Quran, mm. even though he's an Arabic. Mm. Be a PhD in Arabic, mm. you will not understand the Quran if Allah did not decide that you will be understanding the Quran. Mm. You gotta be okay. can, I, can, I, can, I speak? can I Can I speak now? I want to understand the Quran, can finish the sentence. Mm. If, uh, if Allah has chosen you, even though you do not understand the Arabic, that you will be understanding the Quran. Okay. You're making a mistake. Thank you. You understand? Can I talk? This is a high level religion over here. Can you go ahead? Okay. Guys, he just said, and everybody heard him, that if Allah did not allow me to understand the Quran, I will not. So you are saying to me that your stupid Allah is the reason for me I don't understand the Quran. And you are claiming me to be stupid because Allah is a stupid. Because if Allah, he said the book as a book of guidance, and you just said, if Allah did not allow me to understand the Quran, I will never understand it. And then you're blaming me for being a fool, as you claim, for not understanding the Quran, even though I speak Arabic. But you are the one who said, I didn't understand the Quran because Allah don't allow me to understand the Quran. So now I am not allowed to understand the Quran, but I'm required to understand the Quran, even though I speak Arabic, but I cannot do it because Allah don't allow me to understand the Quran. So who is the donkey here, Mr. Ultimate? Objection. Donkeys are smart and we should not insult donkeys. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ahmad Muhammad Ali Hassan bin Al Basir. I am representative of the tribes of the donkey. Muhammad said. Donkeys are smart. You don't say the donkey. What donkey? Donkeys will not say this. Allah, He chose the one who understand, and He will not allow you to understand. And then later He say, uh, what He say? Listen carefully. For secondly, you said that I speak Arabic, and did if Allah did not allow you to understand the Quran, I will not understand it. But you don't speak Arabic, so how you don't speak Arabic and you will understand the Quran? Go ahead. You done? Okay. Hmm. First of all, you jumped the first part. I I just cut you off. Hmm. Uh, just to remind you that I did not cut you off. Just my friends, I, I, I asked you, did no. you finish? You said yes. Don't, stop lying. Everybody is with my witness. I said to you, did you finish? You said yes. Go ahead. I did not cut you off. you doing it now. I was no, you. no, you said so, to me, you cut me off. I did not cut you off while you are lying. Now go ahead. You said you don't speak Arabic. And now Allah will, uh, made the Quran in Arabic. So how you will understand the Arabic Quran if you don't speak Arabic? Go ahead. That was the first question. Mm. But your first question was not it. I'm, I'm going to answer to both your questions. Go ahead. Since you got some, mm -hmm. some, 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 some holes in your mind. Uh -huh. Your first question was, mm. please don't, don't cut me off. Just please. Listen. Your first question was, first question was, how come Allah decided who understands the Quran and who will not be understanding? So mm. Allah is what is not just by choosing you not to understand the Quran. Mm. It's because you didn't obey to the rule of Allah whether it is in arabic or not in arabic that's what i said first you gotta believe anybody believes i will explain the quran allah said he's mm. uh, he's the one who teaches the quran uh -huh. he's the one that explains the quran mm. ah, uh -huh. 
Guys, have you ever heard of such a wisdom? This is wiz and dumb together. Allah said, Allah will explain the Quran if you obey the order of the Quran. How you can obey the order of the Quran without understanding him? <laughs> this remind me, brother, when me and my cousins, they put a table together and then we find 50 screws are additional. Why? Because we cannot read the manual. It was in Chinese. When we look at those screws, what we would do with them? Why they are there? Because we could not understand that that's a Chinese thing. And this idiot saying to us, Allah will explain the Quran only for those who obey the rules of Allah. But how you can obey the rules if you don't understand the rules first? <coughs> genius. Really, really genius. Super, super genius. Chiku, 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 chiku. She said, yes, go ahead. I did not cut you off. Are you doing it now? I was no, no, you said so to me, you cut me off. I did not cut you off while you're lying. Now go ahead. You said you don't speak Arabic. And now Allah will uh, made the Quran in Arabic. So how you will understand the Arabic Quran if you don't speak Arabic? Go ahead. <coughs> that was the first question. Mm -hmm. Your first question was not late. I'm, I'm going to answer to both your questions. Go ahead. Since you got some, mm -hmm. some, 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 some holes in your mind. Uh -huh. Your first question was, mm -hmm. please don't, don't cut me off. Just please. Listening. Your first question was, first question was, how come Allah decided who understands the Quran and who will not be understanding? So Allah is what is not just by choosing you not to understand the Quran. Hmm. It's because you didn't obey to the rule of Allah, whether it is in Arabic or not in Arabic. That's what I said first. You got to believe. Anybody believes, I will explain the Quran. Allah said he's hmm. a, he is the one who teaches the Quran. Uh -huh. He's the one that explains the Quran. Hmm. You understand through your heart hmm. and not through hmm. reading, hmm. not through thinking that you can just if. Guys, uh, many of you are not uh, understanding the situation here. Let me explain to you the situation. Hold on. The situation is very, very complicated. Okay. He said you have to understand through your heart, not through your reading. Okay. So, in order to make it uh, clear for you, this is your heart. And there's an arrow now. Allah, he sent an arrow. You know, you are in love now with Allah. So, if the arrow hit your heart, brother, you understand the Quran. You do not need to read the Quran. This is the Quran. You do not need to read the Quran. You do not need to know how to read the Quran. Because all what you need, brother, is an arrow in your heart. And then when the arrow he go in your heart, brother, you have full understanding of the Quran. Yet the Quran is not in your language and you don't speak the language of the Quran and you cannot even read the word in the Quran. But the brother, the arrow of Allah is going to hit you. Now, there's, uh, there's a, like, you see what he's saying that this arrow, brother, can hit you in different location, depend on what happened to you. So let us say your heart is in your chest. Hmm? And here, this, this is your bum. This is your bomb. It is possible, brother, that Allah arrow hit your bomb, not your heart. In this situation, you will understand the Quran based on your bomb understanding, not in your heart understanding. This is what Sheikh Zainab is saying to us, be Allah bless her heart. Very, very, very smart intellect. High quality explanation. So good to be true. So all of you who did not understand the Quran, obviously because Allah, he sent his arrow in your bum. And maybe in your... <clears throat> but for those who know how to understand the Quran,
Allah, he sent his arrow in their heart. So beautiful. I, I feel I want to cry. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see are dummies answering me to la la la. La 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 What the heck is that, man? Why you people are not until now? By the way, don't copy my drawing again. Let me hold all that. Let me put my signature in it so you guys cannot uh, copy my art. Many of you are doing business here. Just, just come in here. The reason I have like a thousand people watching, not because they are listening, because they want to copy my art and sell it in eBay with millions of dollars. Let me put my signature here. Hold on. Signature, which nobody can really uh, manipulate. Okay. I will put it in the top of the S, starting from here. So nobody can like, because this is the focus. Most of people, they focus in this area. You know them, you know. So let us see. Uh, I will make it in Arabic so you can. Okay, uh, I'm soon I'm going to finish. Uh, this is just the first, uh, uh, the first uh, name. Okay, now I need to put the last name. Man, the name is expanding all over. The program went in chaos, and now my computer froze. What happened to this program? Like, come on, stop, 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 like, stop. Look, 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 look. Brother, look at this. The name is extending. Like, this is all in signature. This is why it's very hard to, uh, you know, actually, it's going to the other side of the screen, going behind the screen, too. This is all just the first name. Arabic name. You can do what you can do about it, brother. You know? And now let us see if you can sell it without my permission. Like, hello. I know why you are here. This is how we defeat Corona, my friend. Be happy. Be happy. Love. Enjoy your life. Christ, he love you. And Christ will use us to make you happy. In the same time, to share knowledge with you. So praise be to the Lord who give us wisdom, who made us who we are, happy people. People who follow Christ, they live happy and they die happy. We don't have the stupidity of this mad cult. <sighs> Tell us more. Shall we? Shall we listen to more wisdom? We want more, more wisdom. wisdom. Hmm. More wisdom. Okay. <clears throat> you will buy CP, draw for ten dollars please don't say that in the front of my mom because finally she will believe that my drawing have a value she told me once nobody will buy it for free so hold, hold on let me let me take a snapshot of what you said okay and i will send it to my mom because she will not believe it somebody who will buy my drawing for ten full dollar american green dollars alhamdulillah I took a snapshot so later I can show it to my mother and now finally I prove her wrong <sighs> finally I found the fan <laughs> man it's very hard you spend all your life making drawing and finally I mean I don't know how to explain to you the feeling right now brother I can explain to you my name is Dekir Naik and Allah forbid us from drawing and he said, if you draw Allah in the judgment day, we'll bring you with the drawing and he will say to you, do this. <laughs> with me, brother, breathe into it and make it alive. And you cannot make it alive. And Allah will send you to hell. So based on Muhammad, I will go to hell for I'm making a drawing. Hmm. Hold on. Making a drawing.
Read with me, read. Read. Read with me. Do you see? This is what Muhammad, he said. Hmm. The Messenger of Allah, SAW. By the way, let me explain to you this SW. It's very complicated. I don't know if you had time, but sit down, please. Yeah, take a chair. I actually, you better sit on the floor because you might fall down on the ground from laughing. SAW mean that Muhammad was surrounded around widely, but with what? With the Sheikh Zainab, Sheikh Zakir Naid, and all the idiots in the world. The Prophet of Allah said, whoever makes an image, he will be punished. He will be punished, not punished. Punished until he is commanded to breathe the soul into it. And he will not be able to do so. <coughs> oh boy. Prophet Muhammad, he support art. He's an artistic. He love art. If you draw a picture, all the Muslims, they watch TV. All the Muslims, they have pictures. All Muslims, they take pictures of themselves. Uh, so uh, no, no, nobody is a Muslim. No, nobody is a Muslim. And who said that if somebody is a mere picture, he is trying to claim that he is a creator of uh, of a human being or a living creature? That's stupid, right? You see, the Bible says, "Don't make images of what in down and earth and not above, in order to worship." Which means, the Bible say clearly we should be against any kind of idol worship this is the purpose of forbidding that but not forbidding art or pictures of somebody is your wife or your family or or anything if you do if you do it as an act to believe that the picture that picture is your god then that is wrong here the one who make a picture he is just, he's not claiming to be God or to create, he's just a picture. But anyway, uh, okay, let us see where we stop with this Abdul. Thinking that you can just if if uh, if uh, if Shakespeare writes a book, mm -hmm. it's on you to read it. You gotta understand English to understand the book of Shakespeare. Stop. Stop. Here we have to expose something very very important. First of all, Shakespeare is not English. Shakespeare, he is a Muslim and he's an Arab and his real name is Sheikh Isber. Do you know that? His real name is Sheikh Isber. Anyone knows who said that first time? Who, who said that first time? That Shakespeare, his real name is Sheikh Isber. al Kazafi. Do you remember the mad cow al Kazafi? This person is coming from different galaxy. Sadly, they killed him. Otherwise, we would be having a lot of fun. So Shakespeare, uh, al Qazafi was making a speech, and he said, "Those European, they steal our culture. They steal our sentence. As an example, Shakespeare, the very famous Shakespeare, his real name is Shakespeare, and even the word democracy is coming from the word democracy. Do you know what?" Democracy, which means bring the chairs. Democracy is coming from democracy. We are the founder of democracy in the world, the Arab, brother. Are you kidding me? It was called democracy. Bring the chairs, brother. That's true. You just opened my eyes. That's amazing. Democracy. Huh. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's deep. That's deep. Yep. It's us. It's us. And forget about we are the best. 
forget about the rest oh hold on you just remind me now i guess i hate you why you are doing this to me you keep reminding me of things i hate you i hate you now look look what you just remind me we are the best forget about the rest the quran i mean muhammad said sorry that we and he was speaking to the muslim arab you know muhammad is a racist the Muslim, they say there's a hadith, it says that there's no difference between black and white. This is a fabricated story. There's no, it's not even an authentic book. But the Muslim, they say, this hadith is authentic. But the fact is not. They claim. The Prophet said, the verse saying, you true Muslims are the best of people ever raised for mankind means the best of the people for the people as you bring them as you bring them with the chains on their necks till they embrace Islam do you see it now this guy Abu Huraira he report what Muhammad said because he's just a companion he is not a person who explain anything he repeat what Muhammad say you are the best of people ever raised for the benefit of mankind this is benefit between two bracket it's in the it's not really it doesn't say that but it says you are the best of people ever between what between mankind chapter 3 verse 110 now this is what it's mean the best for mankind are those who bring them with the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam and thereby they will save them from going to hellfire do you see it you are the best. So when a Muslim he speak to you, Islamic religion is a, is a, they, they believe that they are superior. You are a piece of garbage. Actually, the Quran say clearly that non-Muslims are filthy, dirty, and they are animals. There's a there's a video in YouTube by a guy. A guy his name is Dawa, whatever I forgot his name. From he live in England, and mostly I think he's from Pakistan. So imagine those people, they are desperately, they come to, in, to, to they, 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 they fabricate passport, they cross the sea, they spend a lot of money, they get humiliated to go there. After you get them citizenship, he make a videos saying that non-Muslims are like cows. He have a bunch of cows behind him. And he said those cows are more useful than those Christians. And the funny, he is using a camera made by the christian or the atheist using a phone made by the christian or the atheist using a car made by the christian specifically because this was in germany the car behind the mercedes benz and we are like cows what is the benefit of those it was the muslims who discovered the internet it was the muslims who made cars it was allah who made bicycle the first time bicycle came to saudi arabia they arrested the bicycle and then they brought it in the middle of the square of the town and the judge he ordered to do beheading to the bicycle for this is the bike of the devil you believe it they behead the bicycle first time a guy he was abroad he brought with him a bicycle the Islamic police arrested him and they took the bike and they took it to the court and the judge he ordered that this is the bike of the devil we have to execute it and they brought the guy the, the, with the heavy sword and he start hitting the you know and it's not breaking they want to be hit it and then they got the, like uh, something heavier to chop, chop it uh, pieces brother very intelligent religion very intelligent yeah actually once they, they behead the uh, ducks there's a guy he put, you know, in his garden. Uh, he liked, you know, to decorate his garden. He liked to have a beautiful garden. So he made ducks from, you know, what they call it? It's like the, the white uh, white cement. I don't know what they call it in English. Anyway, so like uh, he, he designed like uh, a frame so he can put this concrete and they look like ducks. They look nice. And he put inside them like uh, dirt and he put flowers. So he started getting friends visiting him. And somebody reported him to the police, the Islamic police, that this guy, he have ducks made from rocks in his house. Suddenly, guys, 
The police surrounded the house. Wee, 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 from every direction. People came like if there is like a murder or you don't know like what's happening. And then they forced him to open the door. And then the policeman, he have an order from the court to behead all the ducks he have in his garden. And then a guy is wearing a mask. He came with the sword. And he start chopping the head of the ducks, which is made from concrete or cement. And all the Muslims, they were shouting, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar. This is Islam. This is what the garbage of Islam will bring to your life. The crowd is shouting. The poor guy who owned the house, he became like a rabbit. They will kill him. And then they arrest him and he spends some time in jail for breaking the orders of Allah. Are you a pagan now? Are you an infidel? The guy he said, I just this is for the flowers, this is for decoration, nothing. You are not allowed to do that. Well, it's not funny, but it is scary, yeah. Get ready. Get ready what this religion will bring to your life if you allow it to be in your life. Just get ready. Shall we continue with this guy or enough of him? What do you think, guys? I think we are done with this idiot. Uh, how many of you is... Why, why we have only 917 here? Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Ah. Since I taught you about a breastfeeding for adult, I noticed the numbers of viewers are decreasing. That explains a lot. All the Muslims, they left the broadcast and now they are practicing the Prophet and Allah teaching breastfeeding for adult. Breast feeding for adult if you are hungry take a shot what if she don't have milk in her breast it's okay take a bite breastfeeding for adult is the mercy of Allah Breastfeeding for adult is to feed you, Abdullah. So beautiful. I'm not sure how many people will convert to Islam right now, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping that some they will listen carefully. <sighs> hmm. Uh, I cannot find this hadith to show you. Too bad. Can I call Johnny? Are you a Muslim, Johnny? <clears throat> Why are you are saying two hundred or seven? In my side, it says way more. Okay, let me let me make let, let, let me increase the number of the viewers. Let us do as Aisha she used to do. Aisha she used to decorate girls and send them in the street so she can hunt young men of Quraysh as the hadith of the Sunni says. Let us see how that will work, brother. Uh, <clears throat> oh no, we cannot put this on the screen. Oh boy. Oh no way. Uh, give me a break. I'm trying just to choose a, a, a picture for you to put it in the screen. Hold on. Oh no, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Uh, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, <coughs> uh, no. 
Aha. That will make it work. Now you will see how many debaters they will join us here. How many brothers from the Islamic religion will be here? We are open for business, girls. Now you will see the number will be increasing dramatically. Mm -hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Hey, see, we have 930 now. I told you. I told you. You don't believe me. Hmm? Let's change the color. That will bring more, you know. Me, me, me. I wish I can make it like, like a, a flashing color. That will get more customers. Hmm? 935. I told you. I told you. Okay. See? I told you, the Muslims start coming, brother. They start coming. We're broadcasting live from Thailand. Free drink from Allah heaven. 72. They come with a drink. 943. The number is increasing. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a madness. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Garbage in, garbage out. This is why you see some girls, they have YouTube channel. And in order to increase the number of their you know channel, they wear extremely showing off clothes. In this girl, she is saying stupid things. I mean, it's just silly. Or, the, or no, no. They, uh, once uh, uh, there was a video appearing in front of me, uh, and the title was "Trying New Something Like a New Piece of a Cloth," and the viewer is like five millions. Five millions. five millions you know I don't remember the name of the channel but it was you know this is what the world want this is what they want my friend panty 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 yeah <clears throat> uh, do we have any Muslim here any Muslim cleric Specifically, cleric. Because I'm expecting some cleric to be here, you know, especially after we put the pictures of the girls uh, sign. Right? Anyone? Any cleric? <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me see oh, 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 oh. okay I got I got a better idea once I went to a Muslim chat room and the, the number of the, the room was so huge so huge you will not believe it i mean it was the chat room was boiling literally so i used to go to muslim chat rooms to like you know see if we can find somebody to debate us and then there was a camera open and all the muslims in the chat they were saying move move the camera move to the left move it to the right please can you move it up can you uh, can you move it to the you know it's crazy. So I became curious. I want to know why they are going crazy. I mean, what, what they see in that camera, why all those hundreds, the room is so huge, the chat room, and those are paid rooms, which mean people are spending money to go there. Why everybody is going crazy? And then uh, I click at the camera to see what's happening. 
And this is exactly what I saw. A girl, she's pointing the camera at her toes. And the Mohammedan are going nuts. One girl only. The whole chat room have one girl. And we don't even know if she's a girl, maybe she's a guy. And everybody, can you move the police to the right? Can you move it to the left? A little bit more, please. I mean, what? what? And I was like, it was just a toes. It's not even a foot. But once I saw a very sad scene. It was a guy from Dubai. A guy from Dubai. Look how filthy this country is. He brought a girl. She is Euro European. I do not know which country she is. She's blonde. He put the camera in the front of the bed and he ordered her what to do. Take off her clothes, lay down in her stomach. She is, you know, she is a foreigner, you can tell. She is obviously a sex slave. And the chat room have thousands of people. Very, very sad. This is why if you ever think to go and work in those countries, you need to be careful. You are making maybe the biggest mistake in your life. Because you can end in the wrong place. And always the police will take side with their own citizen, not with you. Unless it became a public matter. Do you remember the British woman? She's a British woman. And she was raped. And then the judge, he judged that they rape her because she is the, she is the, the problem. He released the rapist and he accused her that she is the one who tempted them. The woman, she was kidnapped. They put her in a car. They took her far away. They raped the woman all in a bunch of guys and they threw her almost dead in the street. And then the judge, he judged that she is the one to blame. Never go to those countries. Do you remember the video of the, 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 uh, the prince? who was beaten almost to death, a Pakistani guy. Who remember it? Let me see if I can find the video. Here we go. The policeman is holding the Pakistani guy for him to this supposed prince so he can beat him. And not only that, he is beating them with a piece of wood have nails in it. He took off his pant, stripped him naked, and he start beating him and put sword over his ass and then after that he go over him by his car and the police next to him is holding because he is this is the government this is the prince this is the government he's the police the police are his servants so you go and you, you think like this is a country it's a civil country look this is what happened to dubai princes this is the prince who's trying to escape princess she is the daughter of the the, the, the ruler of the country trying to escape, she's arrested. Her and her sister and her mother. But nobody can find them. Just yesterday, actually, I heard that the daughter of the king of Saudi Arabia and her uh, sisters, the daughter of the founder of Saudi Arabia, you know, royal from the royal family, and her, her daughter, sorry, they are arrested in a jail and they are dying. If they do that to their own family, what will happen to you? One fight with the wrong person, you will disappear. And you guess what will happen before you disappear. 
So my friend, if you want to make money, go to any country at least can respect you as a human being. Those countries don't respect, don't go to Turkey. All Islamic countries, they are, they have a very horrible reputation when it's come to human rights. They don't believe in human rights. The Saudi princess, who is the daughter of the king, hmm? they always try to present that Islamic countries are countries who present justice, present, because Islam supports the brother, Islam, Islam, but this is, this is what Islam is about. Right? Now those princes are asking the king to release them. And what is the crime they did? What is the crime exactly? There's no crime really. They opened their mouth. The second you open your mouth, you are history. I repent, repent, you watch too many dirty videos. No, my friend, I need to repent, you are right. I'm watching too much Quran. And that is the problem, my friend. Like as an example, my friend here, you see this verse here where it says, uh, Allah described for us what is inside the women private part. I need to change, and I know I should not, I should not read those verses, uh, Qadir. I agree with you. I mean, your God saying this to educate me about what is inside the women for China. Is that what you are talking about? Dirty uh, videos? Okay, close your eyes, brother, and imagine yourself there. You have those women, and their legs is, <coughs> and they have no panties. And now Allah describing for you that they are restricted in their tent. And no man or genie did what? Yat Muthahunna. What Yat Muthahunna mean? Ha uh ha. -huh. You don't speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. But just look, your Muslim brother in the translation, he explained it to you. Has opened their what? No, what, 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 what he opened? I'm so glad that Allah is guaranteeing us that that thing there is not open the wax is still there you go there you will find wax and actually there is like a tape you have to cut it with the scissor brother brand new brand new zero miles and this is very important i mean do you want allah to promise you women who they are not zero miles and nobody open it okay. and not only no man and no genie because Muhammad and they believe that genie can have sex intercourse with their wives <coughs> well, I'm losing my voice just just to remind you how the Muslims how this cult function By the way, today Saturday, and usually we go live in our account, uh, quality of life. So later we will go live at night with those who like to join us. Let us see. If you do not know how to find our account, quality of life, this is the account, just search it. Uh, Uh, 
Let us see. Brother and sister. Sheik is answering us. Sheik.com. Esheik.com. And the Sheik now will teach you about sex with genie. Can Jin, can a genie perform sex with your wife? Question. Assalamu alaikum. I am married 24 years old. My marriage has been one that I can be happy about. Many arguments have filled my, my marriage. About four years ago, my wife started changing. I have noticed that she would have sexual or sexually arose, which I have not seen before. Oh boy. That's scary. That is something. His wife, I mean, guys, do you notice the big problem? I mean, we have to be serious here. That's a huge problem. You have a wife, and now she is sexually aroused. And obviously, this Abdul, he cannot do anything. He's, uh, <clears throat> he's not working, it's not moving, even if you turn the fan on. So now what he will do? So he's asking the sheikh for solution. So, I have noticed that she would be sexually aroused, which I have not seen before, in her sleep, in her sleep. And when I wake her, she be angry with me. Oh, you idiot, you just wake her up, and obviously she's horny. And you are not doing your job, you donkey. She go to sleep, and you are doing nothing. So, no, she is dreaming, maybe. No, it's a genie, hold on. And then, uh, I need your help since my marriage is heading for divorce. The so woman, she will divorce him. She think I'm crazy when I discuss this with her. Hmm. The answer, Assalamu alaikum. This is the big Abdul answering now. This is, this is intelligent. This is like not normal answer. This is high intellect person chosen by Allah. She's right in the sense that sexual dream like nightmare or dream illusion holm from shaitan only the sense the, the sense of inspiration not in the sense of shaitan affects something in someone and then he caught for him what qadi ayyad he said you should never describe to her in the wording the title uh, uh, header as it's uh, it would distress her it's best to pray two rakah and eat uh, and so what and and uh, and read the Quran or uh, dua, which means like ask Allah for help before sleep. Recite, the brother. This is the recipe now. Your wife is horny. Listen, listen. Your wife is horny and she is getting really horny. How we can solve this problem? Listen carefully. Recite, Ya Wadud, 100 times. Ya Wadud, 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 Ya Idiot, Ya Donkey, Ya Stupid, Ya Woman, She is really horny, And you are spending time saying, Ya, Ya Wadud, You Idiot, Go and do it, She is need, And it is, Come on, Instead of saying to him, by the time he finish 100, yeah, what dude, he can finish having sex with her. Obviously, the woman, she need a man. And now the, the recipe for the problem is to say 100 times, yeah, what dude, uh, wife, are you horny now? Okay, open your legs. Uh, yeah, what dude, 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 I'm going to meet a girl, I hope soon. And then we sit in the table. And I want her to love me. So she asked me, 
tell me about yourself how we start saying yeah what do you would 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 do by the by the time I finish saying 100 times you would do the women she would be crazy about me she can't even live without me that's it I walk in the street you walk behind me I said where are you going go home you're not my wife yet not after you said you would do that's it I cannot leave you now but it's haram you cannot go after me like this we have to get married first you said you would do I cannot I have to follow you now I will sleep outside of your house. Not, it's not the same. Before you say, I will do it 100 times, it's not the same after you say, I will do it 100 times. Before is not the same as after, trust me. That's deep. And now, and tenderness of your couple, 24 years of prove a friendship, partnership, and love of a high order regardless of shaitan the shaitan would like you to think okay and then as for an related question in the title header and uh, question Sheikh al-islam the true imam al-jalal al al suyuti he said in his book about the jinn hmm? he have a book about the jinn and this is the name of the book and this is the page number the truth Guys, when a Muslim he say the truth, it's mean a big poopoo is coming. The second they say the word the truth, get ready. A tornado will happen, hurricane, earthquake, a volcano. This is the truth. Okay, tell us about the truth. The truth that it is possible for a human being and jinn to have intercourse. <laughs> A Talabi mentioned in his tafsir that is the meaning of and be a bliss and partner with the human being, wealth and children. Al Hakim Al Hakim Al Turmudi in his book said, and this is the reference, and etc. in his reference, and etc. in their book in Tafsir chapter 22, verse uh, 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 no, Tafsir 22, 248. Uh, I think that the, the page number uh, narrated that Mujahid said when a man has intercourse with his wife and he does not name Allah the jinn coils around his penis I'm not going to say the word you know with that location right so the jinn the genie he will become a condom for the Muslim person he will be like he will close himself on his penis and has intercourse along with him. If, 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 if. Meaning, that is the meaning of saying of the Most High, whom neither a man nor jinn touched them before. Chapter 55, verse number 60, 56. Do you see it? Also in the Tafsir of Ibn Abbas, it says uh, that Mugharribun. Uh, uh, or what here? Mukhannathun and Mukhannathun. Mukhannath is like in Arabic, a feminine person, like a gay, you know. Or the sons of the jinn. Ooh, now we know where the gay is coming from. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, 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 wow. So the gays are the children of the genie having sex with women. And I was wondering where the gays are coming from, brother. Man. Allah and his messenger that man have intercourse with his wife during her menses when he does shaitan is there before him and then she may get a pregnant and will give a birth to a gay me no genie women no there's genie women you can search the internet there's stories there's a story, you know, he speak about uh, when he go to, to the bathroom, a female genie, she come to the uh, to the shower and she do, uh, 
you know and I don't know why this is not happening with me and it's not fair I mean seriously not fair all those years I'm single and not a single genie and somebody can give them my address and how they how they will find your address if they do not know who you are hello hmm I make you laugh so much. Oh, please don't laugh. Show respect. This is the teaching of Allah. This is the prophet of Allah saying that. This is the Quran. Come on. Are you serious? I made you laugh. Don't do that. Right? Please don't do that. Actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that before you have do boom boom uh, with your wife, if I can call it boom boom, what does boom boom mean? Hey, boom boom mean like you're like knock knock. Okay, so uh, you have to say certain prayer, otherwise shaitan will do boom boom to your wife. Let us see if I can find you the hadith. Mean wisdom. The prophet said, if any of you, when having sexual intercourse with his wife, say Bismillah. So now, okay, hold on. Your wife now she's in the bed and she is horny, waiting for your Majesty to take off her clothes before you start doing anything, brother. Her, <coughs> excuse my language. She is laying down. Her panty is off. She is very excited, and now it's time for you to make a speech. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Allahumma jannibni shaitan wa jannib shaitan ma razaktana. And it is the stain that he they would have a child, then shaitan will never be able to harm him, brother. How, how shaitan will not harm him? Because shaitan, if you don't say that prayer, shaitan, he will rub himself around the penis of the man and the child will be the child of shaitan and that will make him according to the muslims as we showed you will make him a gay this is how he harm him right no comment no comment now i'm not sure how many of you would decide to convert to islam immediately after sharing all this beautiful knowledge with you i will leave that decision for you brothers and sisters and then uh, if you convert to Islam I just I will give you some of the reward you know in Islam uh, brother you will have a lot of reward as an example you will have uh, women with big boobs and that make you as a female if you like a, if you are a female you will get a female based on this I don't know I mean are you getting a do, do women are is women going to get women with big boobs too brother brother when Allah he promised to us women with big boobs is that a promise to the women too brother and you know it's my dream all my all my life I dream to have a cow you can imagine how much money I can make from the milk there I mean what what women with big boobs mean what does that mean is that, is that supposed to be something beautiful for me actually uh, I mean I, I don't want to uh, be rude but uh, very very much big I mean, it doesn't sound interesting, it sound weird. Like, hello, why you need on there so big, brother? Hmm? Big, 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 very big, boobs, boobs. Big. and that promise of Allah will make you convert to Islam immediately how we knew Allah is God and others are not God very simple the one who provide big boobs he must be God because if he is not God what is connection between him and big boobs you tell me unless he is God huh is it obvious what's wrong with you and not only he have to be God, he is a big God who brings big boobs. There's a very strong connection. 
between the, the big God and the small God will give you small boobs. Hello, use your uh, sense of logic. The bigger the God is, the bigger the boobs. And then the Prophet, he promised us that in heaven of Allah, uh, the man of the, the, the penis of the man will never go limp. And not only that, the Prophet, he is very, very, he's not narrow minded. Not like narrow, narrow. Let me explain to you what narrow minded. You see here the boobs here, they are so big. So this area here became narrow. See this area? Here this is narrow. Uh, the Prophet, his, his mind is not narrow like that. He can go through the boobs, but still his mind is not narrow. All right? So uh, let me explain to you how the Prophet is not narrow minded at all. Uh, how can I explain to them those people? I mean, they are kuffar. It's very hard to explain to the kuffar. Uh, but uh, Christian Prince, he will use his artistic uh, method uh, uh, and dictionary uh, to explain. Okay. Uh, Oh. Where is the hadith? I'm searching for the hadith, okay? I'm searching for it. Where is the hadith? Uh, I cannot find it. Hold on. Now the Muslim they will say, see, he cannot find the hadith. Huh? He's lying. Hmm. But this website search engine is really bad. Okay. Let us see now if that will work. Ah, we found it. And now I will explain to you how Islam work and function. And the Muslim, they will say to you right away, this is Da'if, brother, Da'if. Anything they don't like is Da'if. Look what Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, open-minded Prophet, he said. Indeed, in paradise, Let's zoom in. There's a market in which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. So whenever, whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. If, 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 if. Now it's time for explanation. Time for what? for explanation. Explanation is very necessary. I mean, we cannot really uh, skip that part. So brother, you are going to go in the heaven, brother. Oh, sorry, in, you are in the heaven. And now there is a market. And this market have what? have only images of men and women. Okay? Let me see. Uh, I need some like a <clears throat> uh, background. Uh, okay, let us say this. This, this picture. This picture will do the job. Why is not working? It's working now. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, brother. First of all, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha la la, and la la, you know, la ha, la la la. Okay. So, brother, you go in the heaven, brother, and there is magazine. Now, I chose not uh, too much uh, tempting picture because I don't want you to get excited. So, in the in the uh, in the picture, brother, I don't know. I don't like this picture. Hold on. The Muslims even will not like to go to heaven no more. I need to find something more. Uh, <clears throat> Uh -huh. okay we take the first one first one by one so the hadith says there is images of men and women so like let's say this is an image of a woman there uh -huh. okay brother if you like this woman you jump in the picture and you had sex with her now the hadith says too that there is images of men not only women images of what of men not only women uh, okay let me choose for you a man which Muslims will make Muslims excited okay this guy I think he will do the job especially with his uh, possession yeah that will make all the Muslims go crazy now hold on will increase the number of the viewers all right you see how I make suspense now the Muslims are waiting cannot wait like where is the picture where is the picture why he's saying will make us so excited ah, here we go so there's images of men and women and the hadith says whoever like the image he jump in it and he will have sex with it so we have images of men images of women but the customers is what the customers only men the customers are only men Does it say that Muslims? Yes. It says that with the clear details that the customer is only men. Read it. We are not making things up. This is what your prophet statement is saying. Customers are only men. Whenever, whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. Desire it what? Sexually. Desire it sexually. So the customers are, <coughs> are men. The pictures is pictures of men and women. As you see. Images of what? Men and women. And this is for what? Not for free. Selling. Selling. Someone is a spamming about vaccine. I mean, he is a spamming. Okay. We'll block him. No problem. But I think he, they will run away. <clears throat> if you want to learn about vaccine, don't take it from somebody in a chat. You know, go to a hospital, see a real doctors. Don't let people fool you. Those are scammers. I mean, still there's a human being who believe in such a garbage. People are dying left and right. What, what, what vaccine? There's no vaccine. The only vaccine I see is those images. And I think if Corona come to me and I'm looking at the images of the women, I don't want to see the men, man. Come on. That's... <laughs> images of women in heaven selling images of women. Imagine, guys, you come back home and you have like 50 big show with you. And then, any picture you like, you jump in it, and she is ready for boom boom. Mean. And you are telling me Islam is not realistic, Islam is not fiction, Islam is not uh, virtual sex. This is virtual. Muhammad, he created the virtual sex long before any, you know, like you go inside the picture, you have sex with the picture. That's true. 
That's true. Very beautiful. Very nice. Alhamdulillah. The devil Allah. This is a promise of a devilish man, a filthy man. His heaven is a sex store. This is what Muhammad is saying to us. In heaven we have sex store, correct? People, is that true? Or I'm making things up? In the heaven, those who copy my videos, you can cut this part, make it a video by itself. So people can see. The Muslim, they will say to you, is Da'if. Da'if is accepted in Islam, my friend. And why you Muslims have a hadith, it is weak. If it's not accepted, why it's in the book? Why it's there? Because simply, they cannot throw it away. For you are not sure. We can't get rid of it. The prophet said, there's no evidence to say he did not say. The evidence is the opposite, that he said that. And that's why you cannot throw it away. So, what Muhammad is saying to us, there is a sex store in the heaven, and you go there, and as you see, he's using the word selling. Nor selling, nor buying, except. So, there is selling, and there is buying, except what? Pictures. And what those pictures you do with them? Boom, boom. Where they will have money? A Muhammad, he promised a Muslim man when he go to heaven, he will be richer, ten times richer than any man, any king. So Allah will give them a lot of gold and silver. Even he promised them in the uh, in, in, in the Quran that, uh, uh, you know, uh, he described for them the house, and the hadith confirmed that, that your house will be a brick of gold, a brick of silver, a brick of gold, a brick of silver. Even Muhammad, he, he claimed that uh, there is two kinds of heaven. One is made of gold and one is made from silver. Let me find the hadith. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari. There's two gardens, and in the content of those gardens, watch one is of silver, and the other uh, garden, all everything in it is of made from gold. Do you see it? Do you see it? In different hadith, he says, even the whole garden is made from gold. Uh, let us see if we can find. Here we go. Actually, it says that the, the two paradise, one of gold and one of silver. But here they are they are adding more description, saying that the the vessels, the dishes, etc., is uh, uh, you know they are gold and silver. The Messenger of Allah said, two gardens of silver, their vessels and everything in them, everything in them, everything in the heaven is silver." which means the whole heaven is silver and the other garden uh, or the other two gardens is made from gold everything in the garden the trees the walls the floor the ceiling the dishes everything is gold this is Muhammad promise and you need to ask yourself, what kind of a prophet he promised you gold and silver in heaven? First of all, it's ugly. Imagine your floor is gold, your ceiling is gold, your your wall is gold. You will go blind. This is this is disgusting. You are living inside a tank, and gold have no value in heaven. What is the value of it? And if everybody have gold, who need gold? You know what I mean? If gold is it, the floor is gold. Why I want to take from you gold as a payment? Do you understand? As long as gold is, everything is gold. Why I want to take gold from you as a, this is stupid. You see, gold is expensive today because it's real. So they, they adopt gold as a, as a currency with value for it is very real. 
So the value of gold is not because of the quality of the gold, but because it is real. But if all the earth, wherever you go, you find rocks of gold, nobody would, nobody would consider it as money. Maybe they will make money from it, but they will not consider the value as the value of the money, of the gold. Correct? Why a diamond is expensive? Because you cannot find diamond easy, but if, if, but as the dirt in the front of our house is diamond, nobody will buy it. For everybody have diamond. So the promise here is extremely stupid, proving to us that this person is just trying to tempt them. He, Muhammad, he tempt you in, in, in two easy methods, sexually and money. And those always, they are the tools of the devil. Money and sex. So Muhammad, he promised them money. And with the money, you can have a lot of sex. This is why we have a, a bazaar, a market for pictures to buy and sell to have sex with them. Anyway, guys, I'm really getting tired. Oh, my back hurt now. Man. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I'm going to go to that uh, market and I will ask those girls to do a massage for me. And I will give them gold, brother. I will give them like a, a cup made from gold. Like a gold here. Hey, girls, jump. You know, do a massage in my back. Okay? And I will give you a cup of gold. I stole it from heaven of Allah. All right? Eh, what a stupid card. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, feel free to download my videos. Cut it pieces. Do as you wish. To load it again. Add subtitle in your language. I have a special thanks for those from Indonesia. They are doing a great job adding subtitle to my videos. Please subscribe to their channel. Support them. And support whoever download my videos. For they are doing let us say some work which is necessary all of us we are working serving one god and all of us we want to help the muslims we love them we don't hate them the purpose of what we do here is to show you how disgusting stupid this cult for they say to you something but the second we start studying we find something else everything we say we show it in the screen made by muslims written by muslim translated by muslims and nothing is done by me I'm just sharing my knowledge in order for you to spend many years to study and sharing my knowledge which I earned through long time. I'm very old, very old. You can tell from my voice. So, uh, I asked my mom where I was born. My mom now is 17, by the way. What happened when she was uh, 17, her mother, she asked Allah to curse her and cut her age. Like in Arabic, we says, cut her age. And since then, my mom, she is 17. All right. And this is the same happened to me. I asked my mom to curse me, ask Allah to curse me. And she cursed me. I was like, I think I was 20. And now I am just 16, you know. Anyway, so because it worked like, you know, Allah, he cut your age. You know, he cut it like Allah, he cut. The second you say Allah curse him, cut his age, his, your age is cut and you will never grow. All right. And this is what the women do to keep themselves uh, young in the Middle East. All women in the Middle East, they are very young. You ask any woman in the Middle East, how old are you? Now, she is literally 65, but she, because Allah, he helped her, she is 17. All right? This is one of the miracles we witness every day in the Middle East. Every day, every day. I mean, you walk on the street, everybody is 17, everybody. Uh, and not only that Allah he make you even grow faster as an example Aisha she was six years old according to Muslim she used to be very hot and horny even at the age of six years old Alhamdulillah right hmm. uh, you start listening to me in Pal Talk 2012 when I was there way before 2012 anyway I want to guys thank you very much for being here uh uh, I appreciate all those people who support us by downloading the videos, adding subtitle, and for sure those who help us and make donation. May the Lord bless you all. And if you'd like to learn more, you can go and read my books. You can find them in Amazon.com. And more books will be published soon in other languages. The Lord is good and great, and He will not leave His people without witnesses. And we are here to witness for you the truth and the truth will set you free. That The truth is Christ, and there is no other name. His name is holy. His word is holy. His teaching is holy, and he is holy. 
and not only that he is the word of god and he is a miracle not only he make miracles for god is a miracle so we are people who believe in the miraculous christ not a dummy stupid fraud promising us vagina and penises like muhammad that is even an insult to our dignity our honor to your mother and your sister to yourself women are not meant to be sex toys sex was not meant to be used to tempt people to go to hell sex is to have a family a man and a woman they marry they have a children and to have a family those people they are using sex to tempt you so you might convert to the devil cult be aware of false teacher the lord said be aware of false teacher false prophet who come to you in a clothes of a sheep but they are wolves and this is exactly who is muhammad thank you may the lord bless you christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again in the other account the quality of life maybe today later or maybe tomorrow thank you god bless